tragedy in New Jersey. Police sources tell us a father murdered his wife and two young children before taking his own life. It happened in Linden and has left that community understandably in shock. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner has been following the story all day. She has the latest tonight. Jessica, people who knew the family are coming by to light candles to remember the four lives lost. This, as neighbors try to make sense of it all, we are told the family was quiet and kind. Valentine's Day balloons in the doorway, a Ford pickup truck in the driveway. As the medical examiner drove off, these are the reminders of the family of four that lived at this home on Chatham Place. Police sources say Sunday morning, the husband shot his wife and their two children, a boy and a girl, who classmates say are 13 and 12 years old, before taking his own life. Police say the two adults and a child were found dead inside the home. One of the children died at Newark University Hospital. I said hello to him a couple times. Doesn't really say much. Neighbors say the husband is a quiet man, an electrician, and the wife was a hairstylist who worked out of the home. They say she was always friendly while walking the family's dog. She was always so nice, smile on her face every time. Never would think something was wrong. When her daughter was younger, her daughter would walk, you know, a, a fake dog, you know, a little doggy around, imitating her mom and stuff. And really cute. Sunday evening, classmates of the children placed candles and balloons outside the home. A tragedy hard to fathom. I feel terrible today because I saw that kid since they were born. Oh, I never saw any fight in that house. It was very nice people, you know, very nice family, very together family. She went on the snow all the time together, playing on the snow, riding bicycle together. Governor Murphy says he is closely monitoring the horrific shooting and his office is ready to provide support to Lyndon however possible. Meantime, Lyndon police tell me they won't be releasing more information, including the identities of the deceased, until Monday. In this is Psalm 68 and 20. It says, he that is our power is the power of salvation and unto the most high, the Lord belong the issues from death. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak, Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, peace and salutations to the elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four winds of the earth. Shalom to a few sisters out there as well as Brother Ariyah coming at you with another quick cut lesson here. And, um, yeah, that video caught my eye because, I, you know, I do a series called uh, The Love of Many Shall Wax Cold. And um, definitely since 2023 uh, hit, I've been seeing a, a lot of that as far as, you know, uh, murder suicides, man. You know, so I wonder, I looked it up here. And uh, murder suicides in 2023. And last night it, it was 103. And now it's 105. Because uh, slots one through four have 25, right? So that's 105, right? So, you know, and that's a lot, man. That's a lot of murder, uh, suicides in a year alone. But in two months, not even two months yet, man. You know, January, January just kicked in. I mean, January, February just kicked in. We pretty much at the end of it now. We got eight days left. Um. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of murder suicides, man, in, in two months. So imagine how the rest of the year is going to be, man, because things is only going to get worse and worse. You know, uh, people are not going to be able to provide for their families, and I believe that is the main reason uh, behind these things, man. Of course, first and foremost, it's the heavenly Father that's orchestrating it and putting it into these people's mind to do what they're doing. Right. But a lot of people just can't take the pressure, man. You know, a lot of people can see what's coming down the line and they know that they're not going to be able to deal with it. Right. And uh, yeah, man, this is the Heavenly Father once again communicating with us uh, through his uh, judgments, man. And what's that? Uh, what's that? Psalms 19. Let's get Psalms 19 real quick. Uh, what, 9 and 11, right? 
It says the fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. Yeah, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. And it says, moreover, by them is thy servant warned. Okay, so we're warned by these things, man. You know, this is the Heavenly Father communicating with us through his judgments, man. So we're warned by these things. And when we're warned by them, we go out and we warn the people, man. And in keeping of them, there is great reward. Okay. And yeah, so we, we learn these things. We learn to fear the Lord and then we go out and we warn the people, man. You know, those that are uh, meant to, to actually hear and listen, you know. Because there's definitely a, a, a difference between the two. In 2 Corinthians 5 and 11, right? And it says, no, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Heavenly Father, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences, right? So we know the, we know the terror of the Lord, man. You know, this is why, you know, we all collectively make these lessons every day, man. It's fear that drives us, you know, the fear of the Lord, man, and, and wanting to do his bidding, right? And to warn and to warn the sheep, man, right? So Lord willing, while we're doing these lessons, we're not only uh, edifying, but we are also uh, persuading you to turn away from your wicked ways because uh, things like this can come upon you uh, very swiftly, man, and out of nowhere, all right? Let me get Psalms uh, 119. Like I said, I'm going to make this quick. I believe it's Psalms 119 and 20. Nope. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Now, let me get a... Uh, Let's get Sirach then. Sirach 5. Salaki for that. Let's get uh Sirach 5 and 4 through 7. And it says, Say not I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me, for the Lord is long suffering, he will in no wise let thee go. Right. And that is the mindset of a lot of people out here in the world. Well, I've been doing this, that and the third for this long and been getting away with it. You know, I haven't been judged for it. You know, nothing bad has happened to me for it. So what is their mindset? I'm going to continue to keep on doing it, you know, and that's uh, stinking thinking, man. It says concerning appropriation. Be not without fear to add sin unto sin and say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation resteth upon sinners. And that indignation is righteous anger. And it says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not all from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right? So you can't just say, uh, you know, nothing's going to happen to me. You know, nothing like this can ever happen to me. The Heavenly Father could put the spirit on someone in your family to put you to death, man. You know, without you even knowing. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Right? So that's unawares. You don't even know if something sudden happens, you don't know that it's going to happen. You don't have any inkling or, or, or anything that is about to pop off, man. And that's how the Heavenly Father operates, man. You know, for most people, they don't know when death is coming. For some, he lets them know when it's coming. Because they're laying up, you know, rotting in a bed, you know, waiting on death. But for the most part, you know, death happens un happens uh, unexpectedly, man. And people don't know when it's coming or where it's coming from or how it's going to happen. You know, just like all of these people here that died probably by loved ones or, or, you know, even people they didn't know, man. It's a lot of deaths here, man. 
you know, a lot of murder uh, suicides, man, and, and not even two months yet, you know? And yeah, man, this year, hopefully all of the uh, prophecies are fulfilled, man, but, you know, this is also a year of, of judgment, man. You know, we've seen a, a lot of judgments pop off already this year, you know? And we're going to see a lot more pop off too, man. It's going to be a lot more death and destruction out here in Babylon the Great, man. So let's get uh let's get Sirach 39 real quick. You know, a classic, if you will. 39:28. It says there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their the force or their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Okay? So like I was saying, and like, you know, most of us know the Heavenly Father is the one that is orchestrating all of these deaths, man. Okay? So the Heavenly Father is sending out spirits uh, to, to do his bidding. Right? And we got another one here with this guy. He just killed his family. Everyone was like, oh, they was a good family. You know, they never argued, you know. But the judgment of the Lord comes unexpectedly, man. You know, you had the, the, the dude in uh, Utah that killed his whole family and then killed himself. You had the guy out in California that drove his whole family off a cliff, and they all survived, but he ended up getting locked up for uh, three counts of attempted murder, right? He tried to kill his two children and his wife. And they all, um, uh, I don't even want to say miraculously, but they all survived, right? But it was in that man's mind to kill himself and his whole family, you know? And we're going to be seeing a, a lot more of this, man. This is something that I'm definitely going to be looking out for because this, this is going to continue to happen, man. You know, the love of many is waxing colder and colder, man. And people are just, uh, you know, running out of their wits, man, out of their wits in. They can't really um, take uh, the pressure that's being applied to them, man. You know, pressure uh, bust pipes, as they say in the world, man. So a lot of people are seeing the things that's coming down on them and they're not able to uh, to deal with it, man. And this is the end result, man. You know, you're putting themselves to death. They're putting their, their families to death. You know, why? Because they don't have any faith in the Lord at all, man. You know, a lot of these people don't even count on the Lord. They don't pray to the Lord. Right. They don't look to the Lord for for guidance. Right. They only look to their own way. And what does their own way lead them to? To the pit, man, to the grave, man. That's what it leads them to, leads them to death. And not only them, but in this in these instances here, their families are as well, man. You know, and they're happening all over the United States, man. And you see the year. On all of them is 2023, man. Crazy. Let me get second address. I'll end it here. Like I said, I didn't want to make it long. Seven. Let's get 19 through uh, 24 here. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And he said unto me, there is no judge above the most high. And none that have understanding above the highest. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Heavenly Father that is set before them. For the Most High have given straight commandment to such as came what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds and said of the Most High that he is not and knew not his ways. But his law have they despised and denied his covenants and his statutes have they not been faithful and have not performed his works. Right. And, you know, a lot of these people are Israelites, man. Some are heathens, you know, other nations as well but you know the heavenly father is really putting down the spirit or putting out the spirit out here to 
have people, uh, you know, commit suicide and, and take their families along with them, you know, killing their children. As you see a lot of mothers, you know, single mothers, you know, killing themselves and killing their babies. You know, the one incident where the mother couldn't uh, take care of the child anymore, couldn't provide, couldn't pay rent, you know, couldn't provide food. What did she do? She took her daughter and ran in front of a train, man. You know, that's a murder suicide right there, man. And there's other ones that I, I'm not mentioning that I know of, but I just, they're just not coming to mind right now. Um, but that one right there definitely uh, sticks out, you know. And, um, yeah, like I said, man, expect to see more of these uh, murder uh, suicides in the United States, man. It's Brother Abiyah. Shalom to the next one.